wouldn't dream of having an expensive supercar? Well, your dream is in my command, and I have listed the supercars at their lowest price. Prepare yourself as we going to have our nice journey. This is MIA Luxury Cars. Let's get started. <laughs> Ranging Bull. We're talking about the Lamborghini Gallardo. Even the pouring off that starter motor sounds fast. That's because when you turn the key to this exotic V10, it'll literally take your breath away. It'll do 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And the brakes will literally rip your eyes out of your sockets. But come on guys, that is not why you buy a cheap Lambo. You buy it so that you can be seen in this quote unquote, working man's Lambo will trick all of the honeys into thinking that you are a straight up baller, not on a budget. So it begs the question, how cheap can you snap? one of these ranging bowls before we check out this Lambo that you can snag for $55,000. On top of that, right hand corner in the limited edition ideal a Lambo heartbeat shirt. Only 10 have been printed in this first batch so snag them while they're hot now. And the Lambo here, yeah, it has some goatee wheels and that exos who well at least it's a Borla. But yeah, associated with a big screen, both ranging heritage and movie star, credibility could be literally cool and fool almost anybody into thinking that you wipe your ass with Honda's sporting and exotic sounding V8 that faster than it actually is. The British supercar cruises class and sophistication. Aston Martin Vantage here are way less on the road, which means that with looks to die for, it can confidentially strut. This thing around town knowing that you'll get all the attention you want and deserve but how cheap you can really get one of these as well as the wise man once said everything is way more fun topless. So this 2007 Glacier Blue Aston Martin Vantage Roadster for $35,000. Nissan UP 35G the supercar that eats other supercars for lunch but doesn't necessarily look like a supercar. But it is because with the 565 horsepower thrusting these Japanese missile down to the road, there's no doubt that the twin turbo V6 means business. And with a couple overnight parts from the Japan, you know where I'm going with your the Godzilla of the world, eating pink slips for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and barbecuing the car well. So something that fast must be expensive right here we go forty thousand dollars maserati gran turismo for a say ideal ideal and you want to look like an ultimate baller recently did a video on five cars that desperate faster than anything else and this one was the winner or the loser can you guys guess how much it is depreciated in the first five years well i'm not going to tell you have to watch the video but it was over six figures which is awesome for you because it looks like a million bucks but it's not the rumble from the exotic v8 is like the angels coming down from heaven and singing wonderful and you'll be singing the tune too because everything about this maserati screams money with authentic racing jeans and unmistakably good looks this one is guaranteed to break next everywhere you take it and will break your wallet to maintain absolutely but to buy one not really guys this is a sad sight to see i mean this bumblebee express is 23 and a half thousand dollars now and this car was over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars Audi R8. Jump into this thing and you'll feel like you're headed to the starting grid. And Lehman's this Audi is not in any as a mid-engine supercar has both of the looks and performance to back it up. Just roll up any car, meet, and you're part of the clan, the supercar clan, which is a great place to be because the Audi R8 is like a camelon and it can dress it up and flex it like a supercar shoot at a valet near you or it can dress up at its own and just be an Audi at that neighborhood grocery and parking lot. Either way, it's hot, it's cheapest for the supercar and it's an ideal value right now. So how many stocks do you have to throw to get yourself the Iron Mine car? Now this is the ideal of the century, an Audi R8 2009 
for $58,000. And that's before negotiation. Yeah, it's not the perfect spec, but man, it's how do you, the R8. And honestly, I do not see this going down much more. And if you bought this car for $55, owned it for $12 to 18 months, you would have the ideal ownership experience. Also, if you haven't seen the video of the five cars that you are going to lose the money, now you have the chance to check it out. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.